Hello. We are showing a 240 line signal on STV22. Um, we were actually trying to demonstrate the fact that there is a quite bad flicker on the 240 line system, um, mechanical system. But unfortunately, due to the cameras, um, it's not really easy to uh, replicate this. Um, this is actually, as I say, 240 lines on this, this set. And the quality of the picture, when you look at it through the camera, is actually very good. Uh, unfortunately, when you look at the screen, it's not very good uh, due to the flicker. Um, the also, th also the fact is that we're using a Bush TV22, which is a 405 line set, which uh, is not really designed to run at uh, the low line speed of 240 lines. Um, but as you see, it isn't. It doesn't look too bad, you know. Um, the line structure is quite hard to see actually, but you know, I mean the focus isn't particularly wonderful. Uh, plus, trying to, to make out the line structure with all the flicker that's going on um, is very, very difficult, to be honest with you. But, um, as you can see via the camera, it actually look, doesn't look too bad. But, this can be done with uh, a Bush TV22. Um, possibly more so with mine, because it's a, a modified line output transformer. Uh, it's actually a transformer from a Thorn 950. Um, and it seems to be quite happy running uh, at half speed. Um, a little bit folded over on the left hand side. And the top and bottom of the picture, funny enough, is blanked out. Um, obviously again, down at blanking times, etc. Um, and this is why we, we get that effect. But, as I say, we do not see this flicker on, on the camera. But, uh, if anybody wants to try it, I mean, it, it would be quite revealing, actually, how bad the Baird system really was with 240 lines. Um, plus, of course, as we know, the, the camera technology was such that it couldn't be moved around. Um, so not great for, for uh, any outside broadcasts or, or moving scenes um, that were broadcast at the time. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd like to, you see this. Uh, it is probably worth a try if somebody wants to have a go. The frame time base will happily run at half speed. Adjustments to the line, uh, sorry, to the frame linearity will give you a reasonably linear picture. Um, but I'm not sure how this would this would work on the standard Bush TV22 line transformer. But it does work in quite a few sets actually. Uh, mostly the the Decker 1000 projection set works actually quite well. But with that great big screen, uh, well. That's pretty ghastly. <laughs> okay, thank you for looking. Cheers.